Yeah, thank you very much, Esther. So, yes, it's a very desperate situation uh, in Darfur at the moment, uh, as your package uh, mentioned, uh, especially in the West Darfur area. Uh, we're seeing large numbers of refugees coming across the border into Chad in very, very poor conditions uh, due to the fighting, especially in Jenaina and, and across uh, Darfur. Uh, on top of the existing displacement within Darfur and, and across country, uh, lots of the people are coming across with few of no, no belongings at all, so desperately in need of assistance. Now, you talk of assistance. Your organization is one of those humanitarian organizations helping people out there. We understand that civilians are in dire need of medicine, shelter, food. What, what is your organization doing specifically to help them? So Mercy Corps, uh, we're responding to the crisis uh, in different parts of the country, uh, both in Darfur, uh, but also in other parts of, of Sudan. Uh, as you mentioned, you know, over six million people have been displaced by the conflict, uh, as well on top of the refugees that have fed into uh, Chad and other parts uh, of the countries surrounding uh, Sudan. Uh, in terms of Mercy Corps, we're supporting people in terms of food assistance, uh, where markets are functioning, especially through uh, cash assistance. Uh, we're supporting in terms of the provision of uh, water, fresh water, sanitation and, and hygiene as well. Uh, and we're also helping uh, people to uh, rebuild their livelihoods, uh, especially some of those uh, in the rural communities, uh, you know, if they're able to, to return back to farming or other activities as well. Uh, but uh, the needs are very, very large, uh, unfortunately, at the moment in Sudan. Well, Mercy Corps, uh, from your, your you know, uh, organization's perspective, uh, where do you see, see this war? Because, you know, it began quite a while ago. We had to deal with other issues of the world, but now we're seeing more chaos happening. Briefly tell us what's happening and what do you do next? So, unfortunately, the situation, uh, you know, remains very dire. Uh, I know there's negotiations ongoing in uh, Jeddah, uh, but on the ground, uh, the situation is, is very, very difficult for the people in Sudan. Uh, on top of the fighting, uh, we're seeing a lot of economic problems. So even in those areas which are not sort of directly affected uh, by the conflict, uh, you know, people are suffering uh, economically uh, in terms of uh, making ends meet. Uh, so uh, the prospects at the moment do seem quite bleak, unfortunately. Uh, for people in Sudan, uh, you know, uh, we're trying our best to, to assist, uh, along with many of our many of our humanitarian situation, uh, many of our humanitarian organisations. But yeah, the, the, the situation is is very difficult.